Hey guys, it's Dark Sketch, and welcome back to a new video. I'm hoping that you guys are liking these style uh, videos. Um, I just literally put up today the edible review vlog thing, so yeah. So hopefully you guys are liking these. Let me know um, if you like the style of them, and yeah. Um, but today, uh, for this video, and anyways, because I felt like, you know, I haven't really been posting a lot, so I was like... I'll just make this video today, have it out before the end of the week, so I can kind of like catch up a bit. So we're here, as you can see in the text here, we're painting together. So feel free to take out your canvases, or maybe even color with me. You can even take out your coloring stuff, whatever you want to do creatively. This is the time to do it. Yes, I am wearing a periodic table of horror movies. I found this um, when I went to a like I was vendoring for Star Sketch and they were doing a clothing swap also at the same place that I was vendoring at and I found a couple things I like and this is one of them and I was like oh my god I love horror movies we're gonna get into more chit chatty stuff in a minute but let's get our materials out so then you know what I'm working on and you could feel inspired by that or just do your own thing um, but today, brother, I have been working on, well, I finished this one yesterday, this, uh, groovy painting. I've just been so inspired to make art again, and it's fantastic. I'm just like, boom, boom, boom with the art pieces. Look at this shit. Finished this one today, too. Look how freaking trippy it looks. Like, my art is just going from here to, like, skyrocket. It's insane. And then also, today, finish this. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I got a little stack going, and then I just started this one before lunch. Like, okay, so you probably noticed there's a lot of rainbow. Because of this pride festival that I'll be vendoring that at, I've just been doing so much rainbow artwork. Like, once I was like, okay, I gotta lock in, I gotta do some pride work, boom, in my head I'm like, well everyone's probably there going to have pride stuff why not be a little bit different i do have a painting though for bisexuality because i do identify as such but um for the rest of them they're just all gonna be you know trippy ass rainbow paintings <laughs> uh but yeah so i'm using my posca paint markers right now i already sketched on here and i am just kind of it's like a color, I, I made my own coloring page in a sense. It's fantastic. So, working on that right now. Now let's get into chit chatter. Chit chatter time. I'll probably be talking your ear off for about an hour. So lock in, get prepared, get yourself a drink, maybe some water. That's what I am sipping on today in my uh, Hello Kitty Five Below cup. I got it a while ago though, so. I don't think you're going to find it, but you could easily find Hello Kitty cups online. Or literally anywhere, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah. No, going back to the horror movie talk. I, when my birthday ends, it's spooky season for me. So, I definitely plan on watching some horror movies again. Um, probably starting tonight <laughs> honestly I was gonna say tomorrow but tomorrow I'm literally gonna be so busy tomorrow like from freaking 1 p.m. until 8 p.m. I'm gonna be just doing stuff which is why I decided to do this video today <laughs> because I'm like what other time am I going to have time to film so here we are um oh, I have such a busy day tomorrow you want to know my schedule for tomorrow Literally, I have a 1 p.m. Zoom workshop, like a workshop to do through Zoom. I have, then after that, at 3.15, well, have to be there for 3.15, is Teddy's checkup appointment, my dog's checkup appointment, for his post-surgery, um, which he had. And then, I gotta go all the way to therapy. I'm trying to change it to 4.30, waiting for her to get back to me. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be there at 4 or 4.30. And then, um, freaking going to a Deadpool and Wolverine party at my local Autism Resource Center, which, if you guys are not aware of, I personally do have Autism Spectrum Disorder. So, um, 
you know, I go to a center that has other like-minded people. So it's, it's a vibe there. Um, let's see, blue next, blue. Um, but yeah, so I have a very packed day tomorrow and that party's from six to eight. So yeah, I have a pretty packed day. And then on Thursday, I'm also busy because I have my friend coming over. I haven't seen her since like a couple weeks before my birthday. So it's been like a month since I've seen her and we miss each other. So I'm excited to hang out. She's excited to hang out and we're just gonna chill and probably play games together. Um, we're both broke, so <laughs> we're like, let's just play games and stuff. And I'm like, bet, that sounds easy enough. Not any pressure and uh, she loves seeing my dogs too. So they chill and vibe with us too. So that's my plan Thursday. I just want to just kind of focus on that on Thursday, like not really anything else. Um, and then Friday, freaking I have to mow the lawn and Anthony comes over, my boyfriend. So the rest of my week is pretty much planned out <laughs> for what's going to be happening. So I figured I, I took today and yesterday as like days to just get really chill and get some artwork done because I wasn't sure when one other time I was going to be able to do that. So, I mean, obviously I have tomorrow morning and obviously I have the time before and after I hang out with my friend, obviously. But I'm saying during a typical, like, work day. And I say work day in parentheses because, like, everyone's schedule is different. And you might not even be in uh, working right now. You might be in school or unemployed or whatever so we need to have this kind of mindset that like just because it's a Tuesday afternoon doesn't mean I can't get chill and do painting like I'm so ha I'm so grateful I guess to have that privilege to be able to do that while I have friends that are literally working their butts off at these retail jobs or whatever so I'm just like, I'm kind of thankful for the position that I'm in, but at the same time, there's parts of me that are like, I need to move forward in life. I'm almost 30. Yeah, I'm almost 30. So that's the other crazy part too. Um, you know what's crazy? So I was looking back on some of my old, old videos and some of my old channels, which don't go searching for them, please. They're so embarrassing. Um, but I kind of act the same then as I do now like in terms of um when I get chill like I feel like when I get chill my inner child kind of comes out and so when I was watching these vlogs I was just like whoa that's kind of crazy that like I just kind of still have those same because like obviously as I've gotten older I've realized that I have changed and matured and all that but at the same time I'm just like Damn, that's like crazy that I still have the same characteristics as my childhood self, but I'm adult me now and th things are way different than they were then um, for the most part, but now it's different in a good way, I guess. Um, I've been talking to my boyfriend a lot th about this recently of just like reflecting on my life and where things are going, so that's why that's been on my mind. <laughs> as of lately um but yeah so yeah i'm just doing a bunch of rainbow trippy art as my focus lately um but yeah so no pieces really up on my shop yet i'm just making these for the specific vendor event and if i happen to not sell them then they're gonna go up on my website um at c and d pop i should say um but yeah, so that's why you guys haven't been seeing me, you know, like putting things up for sale per se, because I am waiting to put them up for sale in person first. So yeah, so I'm excited for that. And what are you guys painting or coloring or whatever you're up to while tuning into this video let me know in the comment section down below because I honestly do want to know because I just find it interesting um but yeah Ugh, but after that edible review thing I did guys 
I've been trying to like just kind of be like whoa that was a lot to take in so I've just been like getting a little chill every day so I'm not like too too much and go overboard or green out or whatever they say so that's been my focus lately I've also been starting to get back into yoga um, and I do my own form of yoga, and let me explain. I don't like following a video, because sometimes it gets boring after a while, and sometimes I don't like the music that they're playing or whatever. So I legit just kind of um, reflect on some of the poses I used to do when I was in these said classes or workshops for said, you know, yoga. And uh, long story short, I just kind of put on my own music you know, whatever I'm kind of feeling to do yoga to that day. And uh, I just put it on and kind of go with the flow. I don't follow a certain flow or anything. I just kind of see what my body wants to do, how it wants to move. And I really like that. I think it's super chill, super fun. Um, I even mix some dancing into it, too. I just think it's like my own form of exercise because right now exercising outside or even walking my dogs right now is kind of impossible because of my road construction situation um, my road is currently getting worked on they're like replacing the pipes or something and then on top of that they're also repaving the road so because of all of that <laughs> it's been very difficult to try to like get out and you know like go to the grocery store if I need something or walk my dogs or whatever or even just go to Duncan if I want to but it's been hard to do that and now I'm kind of like I wish I had that opportunity to do that right now because I want to get out of the house or whatever so once you know this construction stuff is done you bet your butt that you're gonna see me walking around town <laughs> like just doing stuff like going to the cafe or something or um you know there's a subway near me there's all this stuff like right in walking distance for me that sometimes I'm like why don't I just go there because anxiety happens and every time I think about going out to somewhere in town I'm like oh god I don't want to deal with people I don't want to deal with you know either people being really shitty or people being too nice or whatever I don't know it just kind of depends on the day but it's just it's scary out there in the real world so my anxiety pushes me back and then I'm just like damn I, no, I don't want to do that so I'll just stay home and then and then I have this mindset of like oh god I've been stuck inside all day I'm going crazy uh so I've been trying to balance that so that's why the yoga thing has been helping staying off my phone like I'll like put on like YouTube videos or music or something but I'm not sitting and scrolling on my phone because that doesn't help me at all like if I were to sit and scroll it would probably be me doing that in my bed and then I wouldn't be getting up from my bed until I hear my mom come home and then I'm like I didn't accomplish anything today so it's all about the mindset dude like you just need to push yourself you know to do the different creative things whether you want to you know read all day like if you're in my position and you're just like not you know motivated to do anything my biggest advice for you honestly and truthfully is to just literally like sit back you could take a journal or just think about it and just ask yourself like is me sitting here scrolling on my phone changing my life in any positive way and I'm gonna say nine times out of ten you're gonna say no because most of the time us just scrolling on our phones is just us comparing ourselves to others or whatever now mind you I do take time out of my day either in the morning or at night to check up on you know what's going on in the world or what's happening but I make sure to only do it in those two time periods, whether it's when I'm drinking my coffee in the morning and just having that peaceful, you know, just chilling on my phone, drinking a coffee time. Or it's at night when I'm in bed and it's too late to video call my boyfriend, so, and I can't sleep, I'll just go on my phone and just kind of, you know, check upon what's going on and watch some videos until I get tired. So that's how I typically look at it. So then during the day, I'm not like, 
always in the know because that got too overwhelming sometimes when I would just like, you know, go on live streams or whatever. Like, I don't know. But my thing lately has just been watching um, Jezebel's Absolutely Fried podcast on YouTube because uh, she live streams and I'm usually not awake when she live streams. So I'm like, I'll just watch it the next day. I'll watch it in the morning or um, at night before I go to bed, whatever. And it's just very peaceful, honestly. And I've been really liking it. I've also been really liking Queso's playthrough, if you know Queso, all of his stuff he's got going on here. Um, he's been entertaining to watch too. What have you been watching on YouTube lately? Because that's what I've been watching and it's, it's addicting, man. It's addicting. Um, so you got to make sure that you balance it because, you know, you don't want to be stuck just watching videos all day when you could have been, you know, like your room has been messy. So maybe it's a day to clean your room or whatever. And I know not everyone likes cleaning and whatnot, but if you really do think about it, a clean s space equals a clean mind. Like I constantly have told you guys that in different clean with me videos. And it is 1000% true. If my space is not clean, like right now, it's pretty darn clean and I'm pretty proud of it because of that deep cleaning day the other day um, on my vlog, which again, if you haven't seen that vlog, definitely check it out on my channel. Um, it's the last video before this one. Just go to it. Um, even if you're not a gardener, if you catch what I'm saying, um, you'll still like the video, I feel like. <laughs> it's just very interesting. I even watched the whole thing just myself and it's just entertaining like you just sit there and just kind of vibe with me you know so I'm excited for this new format that I've been trying out these last couple of videos so let me know if you guys like it because it's not too edited you know it's actually real life shit when you just sit in here you know so yeah um Let's see what else to talk about. It feels like I've been talking for a long time, but it's only been about 17 minutes of talking. That's not too shabby. Um, but yeah, this is how far I am with the painting. It's looking very trippy, if I do say so myself. And I'm going to do little trippy designs in between, kind of like what I did with the other paintings, because that's what I'm inspired to do. It's super cool to me, and I really like creating it, so... I'm hoping that there's going to be some people there at the festival that feel the same way. But yeah, I don't know why my dogs are barking. I always get nervous when they bark because I'm, then I'm like, is someone in the house? You know? But, anywho. I definitely know it's not the mailman. Because the mailman already came by today. Um... And I already went out and got the mail and such. I'm kind of debating on saving up for a beanbag chair. Like, that's my, like, chill chair. But at the same time, I'm going to be moving my stuff up to the third floor eventually within the next few months. So, when that happens... I feel like I'm gonna already have some comfy chairs up there, so we'll see though. If I decide to get a beanbag, you guys will definitely know, <laughs> and I will let you know. I did get something new over the weekend. I ended up getting a little, um, like table for my bed, so that I can like color in bed easier, and I love it. I have it, you know, next to my bed. It's like hidden, like on the floor, under those ta mini tapestries there. Oh, I just love it so much. I do have another one, and it has an easel and everything, and it's very fancy, but it's very loud, and it's too woody, and I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't fit the vibe sometimes. But, excuse me. Um, so, I don't know. I just saw a Jezebel. I was influenced by her little thing that she kept her... Um, on <laughs> if you get what I'm saying um but yeah I'm 
But let me talk about this, though. Two things about two movies. I saw the best movie the last month, and I saw the worst movie recently uh, in the last month as well. Let me talk about the good movie. Deadpool and Wolverine, as I talked about earlier. I'm going to a party about it. Um, but yeah, I am super excited about it, and I loved that movie. I thought it was so great. Even somebody that's not a profound, like, Marvel fan, I still enjoyed it. So honestly, I feel like everybody would enjoy it. Like, I even, I did watch the first two Deadpool movies, just so that I could understand the premise and what's going on. Um, I definitely recommend that as well if you're like me and not super into Marvel yourself. Um, but highly recommend that. Definitely. Um, but yeah, overall it was just a really nice movie. Really funny. Honestly, super entertaining. My friends liked it too. And my boyfriend, like, they do know way more stuff about the Marvel Universe than me. So we were, they were just like, oh my god, this scene and this scene were like from that movie. And just like, you know, all that. I'm not going to try to spoil anything, but, um, it was just, it was a vibe. Um, so, and I really enjoyed it as just a casual watcher of it. I do like the Deadpool movies, I will admit. Um, worst movie I saw over the last month, I saw Borderlands this past weekend. Um, our, me and my boyfriend's friends, Paige and Sam, wanted to come with us and we were all like yeah let's go watch it like you know I don't I heard of Borderlands and I've kind of know what it's about but all the and same with Anthony like same page as me but Paige and Sam were like oh my god we're like you know they're they're obsessed with the video game series so um I just wanted to see it because I'm like oh that sounds interesting honestly and I got to spend time with my friends and my boyfriend sure uh so we all go we get our you know, we pre-order our tickets um, while me and my boyfriend were at the mall hanging with our other friend. And then we go to, you know, we're done hanging with that friend at the mall. So we're heading to the movie theater and meet up with our friends. And we go in the movie theater with our popcorns and drinks. I used to not be a moviegoer because I didn't think I'd like the seats. But AMC theaters... I've never been to one except for these two experiences, going to Deadpool and seeing Borderlands. They have nice freaking, you know, cinema seats. And I'm surprised more people don't go to those. <laughs> it was fantastic. And there's even the cuddle seats where you and your significant other could sit next to in and we could cuddle. And that's what we did. And like, I don't know. If you have an AMC theater near you and you want to go see something, I suggest doing it at an AMC theater. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just their seats are very comfortable, to be honest. And yeah, and they're pretty quick about, you know, getting popcorn and drink stuff to people. So I found that very adorable. But Borderlands, from somebody that doesn't know anything about it, it was a... You know, I was just like, okay, this is happening, this is happening. It seemed very generic. It seemed like a very generic kind of bland movie. Um, but from my friend's perspective, my friend Paige and Sam, they were like, hell no, this is way too generic. Like, they didn't even put in any good fight scenes or anything and blah, blah, blah. And we were, and I was just like, damn, that's that sucks. Like... Like, I would be pissed off, too, if I was, like, a fan of the game sort of a thing. Um, but let me be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom, but we'll, well, I'll come back and we'll do some more painting. I'm back. Um, let's see. I don't even remember what we were talking about, but I feel like that that's a sign to just move on and talk about something new. <laughs> um... There was one thing I wanted to talk about when I was in the bathroom or whatever. Uh, oh, yes. So I was watching Jezebel's podcast. Um, one of the episodes talked about um, her talking about her hater list, a.k.a. like celebrities or influencers that she just hates. She doesn't like. She's like, I won't even listen to them or whatever. I have some of those. And let me know if you have any of those down below as well. 
The first is Taylor Swift. And I don't want to admit that in front of like my family because my niece, who is literally seven, is obsessed with her. So I don't ever share that or anything. But I just, I'm not a, you know, a big fan, I guess. Um, I was really into her when I was younger, but now it's just like, eh, I'm over it. <laughs> you know, like I've moved forward with life, I guess. Um, let's see, another thing is country music in general. I am a hater for country. I don't understand it. I don't like it. And uh, that's just my opinion. So if you like country, I don't hate you for it at all. Uh, you just won't catch me listening to it at all. <laughs> um, bacon. I don't like bacon. And I know that's going to come as a shock to a lot of you. But I don't like bacon. That... No, no, just the consistency, the taste, it's just, it's gross to me. It's disgusting. Um, and last one before I break all your little hearts out there, <laughs> in case you do like those things. Last but not least is anything carbonated. I don't like it. No, nope. no thank you. I know, shocker. Um, just never really liked it growing up and... My soda of choice, I guess, would be just a good old iced tea, <laughs> like, or coffee or something. Like, no thank you. Or lemonade. I like lemonade, but no. Carbonated drinks are a no-no for me. I try, some once in a while, I will try to have a carbonated drink, but then I'm just like, no, this is, this is not it. I can't. <laughs> So yeah, those are some of the things on my hater list, so let me know what's on yours, because I'm just curious. It's almost like we're having a little FaceTime call or something. Um, I'm just going to finish this little drippy part here and then call it a video, because I have been talking for a while, it feels like. Um, and I don't want you just sit here being all bored, like just listening to me. Um... But I'll end with this. This is kind of a continuation from something I talked about in the vlog thing. Um, balance. That has been something I've been really heavily focused on as of lately. Um, especially making sure that I do, this is something again I talked about in the vlog, making sure I do something productive during the day and something creative. Because... As long as I do both those things, it's an accomplished day for me, at least. So, uh, for those of you that are kind of in the same position as me, if you get, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I highly recommend that, for sure. Just kind of, you know, make sure you do something productive and make sure you do something creative. My productive thing today, um, I literally, what did I do today? I just did the dishes. And, like cleaned up downstairs and there was nothing really that needed to be done so yeah so that was like my productiveness and checking email and putting up my new YouTube video as well uh, for the channel but and then something creative has definitely been these paintings today like holy crap so at least I got both of them started you know well got the painting started and literally completed three today so even if I don't finish this one or if I feel like too tired or just want to like take a break then I know okay I'm not a robot and not a machine I can't just make 10 paintings in a day and not feel freaking burnt out because I feel like I would if I did do that um <laughs> but just taking one step at a time making sure that I'm taking care of myself in the process and that's all you can really ask for as you're going about your day. So if you're trying to structure your day in a certain way that you want to be productive, try that first because it really does help. But this is the progress. Look how rainbowy. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked it down below. Um, and let me know if you have any video requests for sit down videos like this if you want me to talk about anything. 
And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.